This is how you can make an advanced pull system for your Discord.js version 14 pod, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to start by going over to our schemas folder and we can go ahead and create votes.js. Now you are going to have to store this data within your votes schema. So just go ahead and copy down this exact code because we're going to be using it later. So just go ahead and create all of this and then we can move on. After doing that, we can go to community and we can go ahead and create a poll.js. Then we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder. We can get our action row builder and we can get our button style and we can also get our button builder. Then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get discord.js then we can do const poll schema equals require and we can go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash we can get schemas and we can go ahead and get our votes folder then we can do module dot exports and we can do equals we'll open this up that's going to be data which will be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be poll we can go ahead and set a description and we can say send a poll in your channel and then we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be topic and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the topic for your poll and we can go ahead and set our min length and we're going to set that to one and we can go ahead and set our max length to 2000 and we can go ahead and also set required to true then we can add a comma we're going to do async executes and we can do interaction and open this up and here we can do await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say your poll has been started below and we can go ahead and set informal to true on this message then we can do const topic equals await interaction dot options dot get string and that is going to be our topic string then we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color and for me that is going to be green today then we can go ahead and set an author and in here we can get our name which is going to be a hand emoji so we can do hand and then we can go ahead and say pull system then we can go ahead and set a footer and we can go ahead and open up text and we'll open up a string and here we can get that same exact emoji and and then we can go ahead and say poll started. Then we can go ahead and set a timestamp just like that. We can go ahead and set a title and in here we can go ahead and open up a string and we can go ahead and get a pin emoji this time. You can really use any emoji you want but this is what I'm using. And we can say poll began. Then we can go ahead and set a description. We can do an arrow and we can go ahead and open up our topic. Then we can go ahead and add fields and this is going to be name and we can go ahead and say upvotes and we can do a value and here we can make an arrow and we can say no votes and we can bold that and we can go ahead and set inline to true then we can actually go ahead and copy this field we can go ahead and paste that down there this is going to be down votes and we're also going to keep it as no votes and inline is going to be true we can go ahead and paste this one more time for our name this is going to be author and instead of no votes we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say interaction.user and we can go ahead and set inline to false so after making our embed we can go ahead and create our buttons so we can start by doing const buttons equals new action row builder and we can add components and open this up we can do new button builder and we can go ahead and set a custom id which is going to be up then we can set a label and for me i'm just going to go ahead and get a check emoji just like this and we can set a style here we can go ahead and get our button style dot secondary then we can add a comma and we're actually going to go ahead and copy this button we can come down here we're going to paste that this is going to be down and instead of this emoji we can open up our emojis and we can go ahead and get the, the x this time and we're going to keep the button style as secondary we'll paste this one more time and in here we can go ahead and get our votes and this time instead of the emoji we can just go ahead and say votes and we'll keep it as secondary as well then after doing that we can come down here and say const msg equals await interaction dot channel dot send and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we can also get our embed we can say components and we can go ahead and get our buttons just like that and we can do msg dot create message component collector then after doing that we can go ahead and await pull schema dot create and we'll open this up and get our message which is going to be msg dot id then we can go ahead and get upvotes and we can go ahead and set that to zero 
We can get down votes, which is going to be set to zero. We can go ahead and get up members, which is going to be an empty array. And we can also get down members, which is going to be an empty array as well. We can get guild, which is going to be interaction.guild.id. And finally, we can get owner, which is going to be interaction.user.id. So that's actually all we have to do for the command. So this is going to go ahead and send the message and create our schema as well as the message collector. So now we can go over into our index.js to finish off the logic for this code. So in here, we're going to go ahead and say pull logic and we can start by doing console pull schema equals require and we can do dot slash we can get schemas and then we can go ahead and get our votes then we can do client dot on we can get events and we can get our interaction creates we can do comma async i arrow function and open this up we're going to say if no i dot guild we can go ahead and return we can also say if no and we can say i dot message and we can also return and we can say if no we're going to do i dot is button we're going to go ahead and return as well then we can say cons data equals await pull schema dot find one and this is going to be guild which is going to be i dot guild dot id we can get msg which is going to be i dot message dot id and then we can go ahead and say if no data we can just go ahead and return we're also going to say const msg equals await i dot channel dot messages dot fetch and we can go ahead and get data dot msg and we can say if and we're going to say i dot custom id is equal to up we can go ahead and open this up so this is going to be our upvote logic so we can go ahead and start by saying if and we can say data dot up members dot includes and we can go ahead and get i dot user dot id and we can go ahead and return away to i dot reply and we can say content and then we can say you cannot vote again you have already sent an upvote on this poll and we can go ahead and set informal to true and we can say let down votes equals data dot down vote and we can say if and we can say data dot down members and we can do dot includes and we can do i dot user dot id then we can open this up in here we can do down votes equals and we can do down votes minus one then we can come down here we're going to do const new embed equals embed builder and we can do dot form and we can do msg dot embeds zero and then we can go ahead and set fields and this is going to be name which is going to be upvotes and we can do value and that is going to be an arrow and we can go ahead and get a data dot upvote and then we can do plus one and we can go ahead and finish that off and we can say votes we can go ahead and set inline and we're gonna go ahead and set that to true then we can do a comma here and we can open this up we're gonna get name and this is going to be down vote and we can go ahead and do comma we're gonna set our value and we can open this up we can go ahead and open up our down votes and we can go ahead and bold that again and we can say votes we can go ahead and do comma and we're gonna do inline and that is going to be true then we can do comma again we can open this up this is going to be name and we can go ahead and input our author and then we can go ahead and set our value and in here we can go ahead and open up arrows and we can go ahead and open up a at just like this and we're going to get data dot owner and we can go ahead and finish off that at as well and that's actually all we have to do for this embed so now we can actually go back into our pull.js and we're actually going to go ahead and copy these buttons here because we're going to use them in this file so we can go ahead and paste them all down there and then down here we can actually go ahead and do a wait i dot update and we can go ahead and get embeds and we can go ahead and get our new embed and we can do a components and we can go ahead and get our button we can do data dot upvote and we can do a plus plus just like that and we can say if and we're going to go ahead and get data dot down members dot includes and we can get i dot user dot id and go ahead and open this up we can do data dot down vote and we can do equals data dot down vote minus one then we can say data dot up members dot push and we can get i dot user dot id and we can do data dot down members dot pull and we can get i dot user dot id and we can do data dot save then we can go ahead and come out of that if statement right there and we can go ahead and create a new one so we can say if we can do i dot custom id and we can do equals 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 we can go ahead and say down we're going to go ahead and open this up and here we can say if and we're going to go ahead and say data dot down members dot includes and we can do i dot user dot id and we can go ahead and return await i dot reply and we can say content and we can say you cannot downvote twice on this poll and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can say let upvotes equals data dot upvote and we can say if data dot up members dot includes and we can get i dot user dot id we can go ahead and open this up we can do upvotes equals upvotes minus one now we can actually come down here and we're gonna go ahead and copy this embed right here just like we did above and we can go ahead and paste that down there and we're actually gonna go ahead and update the upvotes here so we can go ahead and do upvotes variable and then instead of the downvotes variable we're gonna go ahead and change that to data dot downvote plus one just like that so then 
then after that we can actually go ahead and copy our buttons one more time right here and then we can actually go ahead and come down here and we're going to do await i dot update and we can go ahead and get our embeds and that is going to be new embed and then we can do comma and we're going to do components and that is going to be buttons one more time then we can do data dot down votes plus plus just like that we can say if data dot up members that includes and we can do i dot user dot id then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do data dot up votes equals data dot up votes minus one and then we can go ahead and say data dot down members dot push and we can go ahead and do i dot user dot id then we can do data dot up members dot pull and we can go ahead and get to i dot user dot id and we can go ahead and do data dot save now we can actually come out of this if statement and we're going to do our last button which is going to be our votes button so we can say if and we can do i dot custom id equals 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 and we're going to get votes we can go ahead and open this up and here we can do let up voters equals an empty array and we can say await data dot up members dot for each and we can do async member arrow function and we can open this up we're going to do up voters dot push and we can go ahead and get our at and we can open up our member just like that and we can do the same thing for down voters so we're actually going to go ahead and copy this we can paste it and we can say down voters and we can go ahead and do data dot down members dot for each and we're going to go ahead and get everything the same here but we're going to go ahead and change this to down voters all right so now we can go back into the poll here and we're actually going to go ahead and copy the embed that we had before because it's pretty much the exact same thing so then we can go ahead and paste it in here so we're going to change the color to red we can go ahead and keep the author the same, but for poll started, we can say poll members. Instead of poll began, we can just go ahead and remove this, and we can go ahead and say poll votes. And we're going to go ahead and remove our description here. We can go ahead and make this up voters. All right, so we're actually going to go ahead and change this up a little bit, so we can actually open up some variables. So now we can open up parentheses, we can open this up, and we're going to do upvoters.length. And then for the value, we can actually go ahead and remove the no votes, and we can do upvoters.join. And we can do a string with a comma just like that. And then we can do dot slice and we can do zero we can do comma one zero two zero and then we can do or and we can go ahead and say no up voters so then for the down voters we're going to do the exact same thing so we can change this and then in here we can open this up we're going to go ahead and get to down voters dot length and then for the value instead of no votes we can go ahead and actually copy this exact same thing that we did here and we can go ahead and paste that down here then in here we can go ahead and get our down voters and we can go ahead and say no down voters and then after that we can go ahead and send this so we can do await i dot reply and we can say embeds and then we can go ahead and get our all right so with that we're actually done with this entire system so one more thing that we're going to do is when we did our embed builder here this is not form this is actually from and then we can go ahead and change that down here because it's the same so we can do from all right so we do have a couple more things to fix here so the first thing is with this embed we're just going to go ahead and remove the author field so the next thing here is we're actually going to go ahead and remove this or from here and we can go ahead and input that right there now we are actually going to have to add some strings there to fix that as well then we can go ahead and do the exact same thing here and we're going to have to add strings in there as well all right so that's actually all we have to fix for this entire file and this entire system so we are now done so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right over on our discord server we can go ahead and test this out by doing slash pull and i'm going to go ahead and get my poll topic which is going to be test and we can go ahead and send that it's going to go ahead and start my poll below it's going to give me this poll message with the author and the buttons so i'm going to start off by clicking on the votes so as you can see here it's going to go ahead and say no up voters and no down voters so obviously that's going to be the case because nobody's voted so you can go ahead and dismiss this message and we're going to go ahead and try to upvote so now as you can see there is one upvote and this time if we check it it's going to say that there is one upvoter which is going to be me and there's going to be no down voters so we can go ahead and dismiss this and let's just go ahead and say i go ahead and click this button again as you can see it's going to say i cannot vote again and nothing's going to change here and nothing's also going to change on the vote so then we can go ahead and try to click the down vote and as you can see it's going to go ahead and move the vote from the up votes to the down votes now there's zero up votes and one down vote and if we check the votes as you can see now there's one down vote and zero up votes here all right so this time we're going to go ahead and try this one more time and we can just go ahead and put in a topic there so there's our topic here and i'm just going to go ahead and give one up vote so now we can go ahead and move over to a different account and this time we can go ahead and give two up votes so now there's two up votes as you can see here for the votes it's going to give me those two votes and so now we can just go ahead and move my vote to a down vote and now there's one and one and as you can see there there is one and one so now there is one thing that you should keep in mind with this so this is just like an approximation right there is some bugs with the actual number of votes that you're going to see within this embed so for example 
Right now I have one vote on upvotes, so let's go ahead and say I move it to downvotes. It's still gonna say there's one vote on upvotes, right? As you can see here, there is actually no upvoters. So this number is an approximation. It's not gonna be 100% accurate. As you can see, now there's three here and one there. That doesn't make any sense. There's actually one and one. So when you're making your poll, just make sure that you are aware that you should be checking the votes button and not this. This is just like an approximation, right? If you actually want to see the winner of the poll or the deciding poll, you're going to want to go ahead and check the votes. So that's how you can make an advanced poll system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'd be happy to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.